Hello, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, this week's river pattern is a fly I've stolen, actually, from uh, from Facebook. I've seen it on Facebook a couple of weeks back, and uh, it was one of Troutline's new tactical nymphs. Now, Lucian's a, he's a great chap and he, a fantastic fly tire, and he often puts up amazing images of flies. But this one really struck me, so I'm going to try and show you how, how it was tied. Um, I'm not sure if it's exactly how he done it, but and I haven't got the materials he used, but I'm going to um, do an approximation. So here we go. In the vise I have the Hanak H200 at size 14. And I've coupled that with a Hanak bead. It's a 2.3 copper bead, as you can see. The thread I'm going to be using today is the GSP. You can't see it, but trust me, it's the Vivas GSP 50 denier. And as always with this thread, first thing I'm going to do is just add a spot of super glue to the shank of the hook. For those that don't watch uh, a lot of my videos, I do this when most, most of the flies are tie. Um, using this thread simply because it, it beds a thread then it's a very slippery thread if it's not um, given a little bit of super glue to help it on its way so next then I'm going to add a tail to this fly I'm going to use a cock de leon feather lovely barbed feathers makes great tails for river nymphs and I'm going to take about a half a dozen strands from that that stem I'm going to show it up to the hook and I want it about two eighths of an inch past, past the bend. So I'll just have a quick look at that, that looks good. And I'm going to come all the way back to where the barb would be on a normal hook. Now, on hindsight that looks a little bit too long for me so I'm just going to try and ease it back slightly that's a bit better and then I can remove my waist next then I'm going to use some of this ribbing material this actually uh, came from Troutline and I, I did have the purple which the original fly had but uh, I'm only left with this which it still gives a very pleasing effect I've obviously tied up a few of these now I'm going to tie it in on my side And just bring it up now what I want to do is try and get three tons of the material in before I finish off so it's like a hot spot really on the fly gives it a really bright shiny target area for fish to hit and I can imagine this being um, I know it will be good for grayling but I can imagine it being very good for trout as well so I'm just going to catch that in now I've got my three tons in and belts and braces then I can trim that away and just tidy up here okay next I'm going to add in a little rib now what I've done is I've got a hank of uh, Mylan, it's very thin. I think this might be a millimetre and a half, if that. But I'm going to use it for a rib today, rather than... Uh, I sometimes use it to just glitz up wings a bit on cormorants and, and the like. I'm going to catch that in on my side. No, I'm not. <laughs> Missed that altogether for some reason. So I'm going to catch that in on my side, got it that time, and come back to just where, so you can see I've got three sections here of this, uh, the hot ribbon material, and I've caught in the rib just there. Now for the body, uh, I'm sure Lucian probably used uh, squirrel, I'm going to use some of the, the trout stalkers 
Dubbin. Uh, this is the, the natural tweaked. I've already taken a little bit out of the packet. And you don't need very much. My ribs just getting wrapped around my body there a bit. So I can just catch that. Onto the hook. And then just carefully bring it up the body. Just a, an erroneous fiber there. It's a bit too long for my liking. And I've not put enough dubbing on. It's not like me. So I'll just add a little bit more uh, to finish that, to bring me up to the bead. Okay. So that's all fine and well. Now this is it's quite robust, but just to be belts and braces, I'm going to add a little bit of super glue. To this side of it. You've got to keep a hold of it. Uh, if you let it go, it's liable to wrap around something and you'll end up with your rib attached to your vice rather than the uh, body of the fly. So just keep a hold of that. I'm going to give it a couple of turns. doesn't need much. Three turns at a push, which uh, the third turn is probably going to be covered up by my, my wing at the front. Or my hackle, should I say. So catch that in with a couple of turns. And simply come in with your, your snips. And trim that away. So I'm just going to move, remove sorry, a couple of the extra long fibres that are just jutting out of the fly. At the moment. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Now to finish off, what I've done is I've preloaded my clip here. I've got a bit of Andrew's scruffy dubbing at the front end and behind it I've got some Hens 45 at the back. So I'll just put that to the side, I'll show you the packets. So the Trout Stalker one, same as the body. And I've used some of uh, my very valuable Hens 45. There's not much left, but um, I use it sparingly. So as always, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to have to split my thread, needle in behind the thread, and make your dubbing loop there. Now, the hens is going in at the back because that's the last bit of the material I want to go on the fly. So if I bring that up, insert my clip, clasp it into place, and release. I can then spin it up. Bear with me while it's spinning. And I've really got into um, using two different materials for, for my wings now. I think it gives a great effect. I mean, whether the trout appreciate all the effort, well, that's, that's hard to say, but uh, for, from a, a tyre's perspective, it's certainly pleasant to look at. Okay, so I've, I've now spun up my dubbing and I'm going to come round and I'm going to come over that rib. So the third turn of rib I've covered now. Pull everything back and I'll get three turns with my hands 45. Now, to finish off, you can use UV resin, I'm just simply going to add some super glue to my thread. Pull everything back out the way. And then a half hitch to finish. If you're an expert and you've got a whip finish tool, you know what to do. Then I'm just going to remove any of the erroneous extra long fibres I don't want. And there you have a very effective looking nymph. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please remember to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.
first method. If you want to make them up, that's how to do it.